I had too much to take care of. If we were going to survive, it had to be done. If you were going to panic, you weren't maybe going to survive. First of all, everything is covered all in brown, so it, it doesn't look right. The family had parked his car just two miles away with extra food and water on board. Half a mile down the trail, the Moore family ran into timber blown down by the volcano's killing blast. We're talking about virgin old growth. This is not small tree. This is, these are large trees laid down like matchsticks. Four-year-old Bonnie was along on the trip. Now a teenager, she recalls part of the journey out. I remember how it was so dark and all the ash was all over. At the time, her mother says Bonnie behaved like a trooper. She knew, I think she sensed from us that this was important. When we asked her to go somewhere or to climb up over something, she simply did it. At one point, though, the little girl finally wore out. The Moors knew she liked to have her picture taken, so they did. And the smile came back. Nearly six hours of climbing over blown down trees brought the family only a mile and a half, so they camped for the night. 